What's up guys, it's me Mossack Tech. So today on 31st of December, Cyanogen mode is finally shutting down. So no new Cyanogen mode custom ROMs for any type of device. Actually Cyanogen was one of the best community for the custom ROMs and even it was better and smoother than the stock ROMs. And after it shut it down, today a new OS also came out which is the Lineage OS which will replace Cyanogen mode OS for about most of the devices and the video you are watching is my last video of this year. So a very happy new year to all and today I will show you the full tutorial of installation of Lineage OS in Zenfone 2. So currently I am on a custom ROM which is the AICP custom ROM. So to install any custom ROM first of all you need to unlock the bootloader on Android Lollipop then install the marshmallow bootloader files then install the custom ROM. So today I will show you the full tutorial. So you need to download this Lineage OS and also the gaps and put in your SD card or you can use USB OTG too. So you can download these gaps and also this also known as Google Apps or G Apps. You can say anything you want and you need to download this 86 7.1 micro mini pico everything you want. So first of all power off your device and go to the bootloader. But if you are on a custom ROM then you can directly uh, going into the advanced reboot option to go to the bootloader or recovery. But I will show you the general method which is uh, normal key combination method. So power off the device and hold volume up and power key at the same time and then after the vibration and ASUS boot logo then you have to remove both the keys. Then after leaving the keys uh, just wait it and you will see there bootloader so if it is in green color then your bootloader must be marshmallow but if it is in blue color then it will be lollipop so first of all connect it to pc and then you need to download these two files so first of all open the adb files and then you need to install this adb driver just open it and type capital y hit enter and then type capital y again hit enter and do this three times and then it will install adb drivers in your pc and after that you have to extract this marshmallow bootloader files and if you have uh, z008 means ze550ml just download files for that but if you have z00a ze551ml download the bootloader files of that so every link is in the description box so you can see the twrp recovery is also present here so no need to download separately so connect your device and right click hold shift on the keyboard and type fastboot devices and if your device is not showing here means your device is not connected now connect your device again and type fastboot devices and you will able to see your device hit back and just open the upgrade.bat and after that it will install files automatically you no need to type any kind of command here and the device will reboot in between and wait for few seconds or minutes and it will install the marshmallow bootloader files in your smartphone and I also shown this method in the earlier video of unofficial Sanagen mode 14.1 uh, for this device and you can go through that process or this process. And after installation just remove the USB cable and scrolling from the volume up and down key and just selecting any kind of option you can restart the bootloader recovery mode or power off. Just scrolling and selecting recovery mode and selecting with the power key. And after that you will go to this TWRP recovery mode. You can see the version here 3.0.2 M1. So first of all make backup of your current ROM. If anything goes wrong then you can restore it back. So select these two things and select your storage, USB OTG or micro SD card and select OK. And after that press back and if you want to restore it later just go to restore, select your storage and it will pop up the backup and you can restore that. Now. First of all go to wipe and select everything except micro SD card and after that swipe to wipe and press back and go to install and select your storage over here and browse your custom ROMs and this is the lineage OS just select that and swipe to confirm flash. So it will take around 1 minute so wait for that. So after installation just press back and select the G apps. So selecting this and after that swipe to confirm flash. It will also take about 1 minute and after installation just click wipe cache and delve cache swipe to wipe and hit the reboot system. Also the boot animation is similar like Cyanogen mode so it's the old boot animation uh, nothing new on that. 
so this is the setup wizard and you can see lineage is written on the top with the question mark sign means the lineage uh, logo is not ready right now so this is the setup wizard and i will set it up and we will continue after that so this is the lineage os and finally it's ready so this time we will select google now launcher because in earlier videos i always select uh, tribushet launcher so this looks very similar to sanage about 14.1 everything the notification panel color and also the settings uh, just it replaced the name uh, not the whole thing and the lineage os is written here and register egg and also if you want to enable the root access advanced reboot option just tap the build number seven times go to the developer option enable advanced reboot option or restart option just select here apps only in the root access also the storage is available here uh, around you can see 53 gb and the ram memory you are getting free on the first boot is 2.9 gb which is kind of great and also you can install pixel launcher directly from the play store in your smartphone if you have any smartphone uh, with android 7.1 or above then you can easily install pixel launcher in that and also you need to download uh, the wallpaper apk2 so here it is and after that just select the uh, pixel launcher by pressing home key and select always so here it is the pixel launcher every feature you will get the latest and you can update it as well and there is not any fm radio in that and also the uc browser is not working right now and the bugs you were facing in the cyanogen mode is also in this lineage os so nothing new all that just a few animations and smoothness or uh, little bit bugs free new bugs uh, already that so we will get new updates time to time and you can update it like this method just install this rom and this is all about the installation of the new lineage os so this is the end of 2k16 also again happy new year guys to all thank you guys for supporting me this year and if you like this video hit the like button for any type of technical query just post your comment in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos if you already haven't and don't forget to follow me on twitter facebook and snapchat instagram and i will see all of you guys next year